product provided by Nintendo. Hey guys, welcome back to another Mario Maker 2 video. Today I'm going to talk about spring jumps. If you are familiar with any Kaizo tricks, you will know what they are. And if you aren't, they are simply a trick where you jump with Mario, or in this case, Luigi, and drop the spring below you to jump off it again to gain greater heights or distances. Before we get started, I should mention this tutorial might only work right now before any Mario Maker 2 patches or updates come out, so keep that in mind. Now this trick used to be pretty easy and simple to master in Mario Maker 1, but now with the changes to the physics, this trick is really hard in my opinion. I'm going to try and explain the best way to get this to work, and we are also going to break it down in slow motion on when is the best time to do the inputs. But first, I do want to explain the inputs for anyone new. And then after we will talk about timing and a few things that I thought made this a little bit easier. So to start, grab and hold the spring. Then start running forward. Press and hold jump. Then when you want to drop the spring, hold down so that you drop it below you. And while you're holding down, release the run and jump buttons at the right time and then repress run and jump and hold right. Now I know that's kind of weird hearing it, but just try to look at your character and take it step by step and eventually you'll kind of get the timing down and the inputs will be a little bit easier. Now for the timing. This is what makes it kind of awkward and really tough. Your window to pull this off is very, very tight. You used to be able to do this at the peak of your jump, which made it pretty much free, but now you have to be very precise. And as you can see here, you have to drop the spring right when your character starts to fall after the peak of their jump. Now the slow motion makes it look like I'm dropping it at the peak, but if you watch it at regular speed, you can tell it's right when I start to fall and it has to be perfect timing. For me, I found that if I added in a slight turn back, so that would be another input in that input section, which is kind of a new thing. Now you don't need to do the turn back. But if I added in this slight turn back, I felt I was a little bit more successful. But still really inconsistent because this trick is now really hard. Also, I did try this with small and big Mario and it seemed to work the same. I also tried it in all the different Mario styles that let you grab a spring and it seems to work the same. I did, however, have a little harder time with the cape and tail, but the cat suit worked surprisingly well. So that pretty much wraps up the video. If you know of a more consistent way to do this trick, I would love to hear it. And if you know of any other tricks that you would like to see a video on, let me know in the comments below. And of course, subscribe for more Mario. I'll see you guys next time.